Hello and welcome back once again to the Tech of Tomorrow YouTube channel. I'm Eric Ferris, your host, and today we're going to be bringing a first look hands-on on the new third generation iPad. That's right. This thing in my hand actually has more pixels per square inch than this thing behind me. Actually, a million more pixels. Pretty incredible stuff. Now, you guys all know this new iPad was announced the other day. The model that I have here in my hands is the 4G LTE model. And this is the AT&T model. Now, my friend Jonathan, who actually owns this thing, lent to me, said he's going to exchange it and actually get one for Verizon, since I guess he thinks that AT&T sucks. But the purpose of today's video is we're going to jump right into this. This thing has 2048 by 1536 resolution all on this little screen. We talked about it last week. This features the new A5X processor. Now, this is a dual core processor that features quad core graphics. I know that some of you people out there had a lot of questions about this, but to clarify, that's what it is. Having a dual core processor actually allows the system to run a lot longer and have much better battery life. You get 10 hours of normal battery life, but if you actually use the 4G capabilities, you get only nine hours. Now, this one right here, this is the 32 gigabyte model that's in my hand. And basically today, we're just gonna jump into this and we're actually just gonna show you some of the nice, easy games that are on this thing to play. Now, I know this thing costs around $700, that's very expensive, ooh, pricey, pricey. But it also has a lot of features. So for those folks out there who are fans of the Apple products, this is a really cool one. Let's jump in and take a look at a couple of the games on this here cool little iPad third generation. All right, so check it out, folks. This is Sky Gambler's Air Supremacy, the dogfight one. Gonna go ahead and just press in here and start playing the game. Now the controls are all on the screen. Use it to fly around, move around, avoid missiles. Yeah, so I'm finally kicking a little bit of butt in this game. Not the most easiest game I've ever played, to be honest with you, but I suppose it just takes practice. I'm sure all the kids out there will probably be kicking ass on it and thinking I'm a lame duck. Now we're going to do a little racing, folks. This is one of the latest racing games they have on here. Let this little intro here. You guys can see the graphics look pretty cool. Almost like Need for Speed a couple gens back. So there we go. 2HD Real Racing or 2R HD Real Racing. Sorry, I've never played this before. So they're offering me a rookie bonus of $25,000. Since I'm broke as a joke, I'll go ahead and take their cash. So they're offering me a Volvo. I don't like Volvos. Volkswagen Golf. Well, that's even worse, but I guess, what the heck. All right, we'll go for a Golf. There we go. All right, folks, let's just do a little quick race here. Just check out this little game right here and see how it does. So what's really weird about this, folks, is that this thing, well, I guess it's not weird, but there's a gyro inside of this thing so that uh, you're actually, your iPad is actually the steering wheel. I mean, it's kind of a cool idea. I'm still kind of getting used to the controls on this thing, but it's pretty fun still. Cut a little corner right here. That's right. Big Daddy's on his way in if I don't crash out. I personally like this game quite a bit. This one's actually kind of fun. It's not what I'm used to. But it's pretty fun to play. I'm not sucking too bad. I guess I'm in, you know. Whoa! Okay, I had an iPad crash there. Whoa! All right, guys, so here we go. We're in the second lap. I'm still racing around this little thing, trying to figure the steering wheel out. I'm getting better. Hit that fool, get him out of my way. Get out of my way, fool! I pity the fool gets in my way. Now get out of my way. I got to tell you guys, things are so trippy using this thing as a steering wheel. I mean, obviously a great idea. It just takes some getting used to. I've moved up to a crappy sixth place on the final lap. See if I can get my positioning a little better here. Got up to fifth place. I know it sucks still, but hey, it's my first time playing this thing. My Mac buddy made all this shit look really, really easy. And I guess it is pretty easy. I'm just not used to it. 
kind of weird because the thing accelerates on its own and I don't know how to do anything else really on here to accelerate it or anything to make it go faster. So I feel like I'm kind of stuck at whatever speed it's making me go at. Not really too happy about that, but... Oh, here we go. I'm in fourth place, fourth place, fourth place. Oh, can we do it? Can we do it? Oh, can we do it? I'm in third place, folks. I am in third place. Here we go. Race complete. So I took number three. Not too shabby for my first time on the track. All right, guys, let's take a look at one more game on here. This is for the sports fans out there. This is foosball. You guys know that's where you all get crazy and drunk in the bar and play some football. So I'll play the old one-player game. Foosball, eh? Well, this one's kind of... I suppose somebody's going to like this, but for me, foosball is just kind of half foozy. A little foozy on the floozy. I'm trying to score a point here so we can show you guys some points here, but... Uh, yeah! Woo! Yeah! I finally scored a goal. Yeah, I'm, all right, whatever. But all right, here we go. Try it again. I'm moving my fingers all around the screen. It's crazy. Just got to keep moving around, moving around. Got like a little finger workout going on here. Oh, well, folks, that's about it for foosball. I'm not a big foosball fan in the first place, but this is one more of the games we're showing you on here. Oh, those red bastards scored a goal against me. Well, I guess I just plainly suck at this anyways. But, hey, guys, this is just showing you guys a few games. Now, all of these games we showed you, these are all the high-resolution retina-based games. For kids and stuff out there, this will probably be really popular. Me, I'm a PC gamer. I probably would never really use this unless I was at an airport or something if I actually owned one. I borrowed this from a friend of mine. Thanks a lot to my friend at TLD today for lending me this thing. Thanks a lot, Jonathan. But uh, that's it. You guys saw it. This is the new iPad third generation, 2048 by 1536 screen, a million more pixels more than my HDTV in my living room. So that's it. See you folks back here on Tech of Tomorrow.